I'm going to show you guys how to find the fourth derivative of this function. And of course, that means we just have to take the derivative of this function four times, right? So let's go ahead and get to work. Let me write down f prime of x for the first derivative. And as we can see, we have 1 half x times cosine x, right? This is the product of two functions, so we have to use the product rule. Let me label 1 half x to be the first function and the cosine x to be the second function. Product rule in action. Let's go ahead and keep the first function. So we have 1 half x and we multiply by the derivative second. Derivative cosine x is negative sine. So we have negative sine x like this. And then we add it with the second function, which is cosine x. And we multiply by the derivative of 1 half x, which is just 1 half. And we are done for the first part, right? And the derivative plus 3 is just 0, because that's just a number. So this is the first derivative, and that's ready slightly better. And then we're going to the second derivative. Right here, let me put a negative in the front. So we have negative 1 half x times sine x. And then let me put a 1 half in the front. So we have plus 1 half cosine x. That's the first derivative. Now, we'll look at this and do the second derivative. So let's put down f double prime of x. Right here, we have to once again use the product rule, right? So let's pair this up as negative 1 half x. And then sine x is the second function. So. I'm going to keep the first function, which is negative 1 half x, times the derivative of the second, which is going to be cosine x. And then we add it with the second function, which is sine x, multiply by the derivative of the first, which is going to give us negative 1 half. And then next, you see, this is the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and the 1 half stays, so we have negative 1 half sine x. That's all we need for this part, isn't it? OK, so right here, let's see, we can do the following. This is negative 1 half x times cosine x. And you see that this is just negative 1 half sine x minus 1 half sine x. We can combine terms, right? Negative 1 half minus 1 half is just negative 1. And then we have the sine x right here. All right. And this is the second derivative. And now, third derivative. So let's put down f triple prime like this. Right here, once again, we have to use the product rule. So this is the first, this is the se second. Right here, let me just write down negative 1 half x, and we multiply by the derivative cosine, which is negative sine x, and we plus the second function, which is cosine x, and we multiply by the derivative first, which is going to give us negative 1 half. And then the derivative of negative sine x is just negative cosine x. Right? Because that's negative, and the derivative of sine x is just cosine x. OK, so let's see what can we do next. Well, simplify a little bit. Negative, negative become positive, so we have positive 1 half x, and then sine x. This and that. Check this out. This is negative 1 half times cosine x. And this is another negative 1 cosine x. So negative. 1 half minus 1, it's going to give us negative 3 half. And then there are like terms, right? So we have the cosine x like this. That's what we have. And now moving on to the fourth derivative. And the symbol is going to be f with a little parenthesis 4. This right here represents the fourth derivative. We don't put a prime like four times, OK? Anyways, this is what we have. And then this is f, uh, the fourth derivative of um, the function f of x, OK? So keep this right here, right? And then this is the second function. So we write down 1 half x times the derivative of the second, which is going to give us cosine x. And then we add it with the second function, which is sine x, times the derivative of the first, which is 1 half. And for this one, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine. But then we have a negative in the front. So it's going to be plus. So be careful. Negative times negative, right? So we have positive now. And then 3 half, and then sine x. OK? So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Negative negative becomes this positive. At the end, we will combine like terms. This part is OK. We will have just positive 1 half x cosine x. This right here is 1 half sine x. And then we add it with 3 half sine x. 1 half plus 3 half is 4 over 2, right? So of course, that's plus 2. So we have plus 2. And then this is sine x. And we are done. This right here is it. 
do not put down plus c because this is not integrals. This is just derivative. That's it.